The National Armed Forces of Latvia is, uh, has a long history of a partnership program with the United States Michigan National Guard. Uh, throughout these years of our cooperation and partnership, uh, we have received uh, a great support from the National Guard of Michigan uh, in terms of uh, material supplies, training, exercises, exchange of the ideas, and so on. The list can go on. Uh, the National Armed Forces of Latvia and our National Guards in particular has benefited a lot from this. And I think the culminating point was of this partnership that we actually deployed our joint troops, the Latvian Armed Forces and the Michigan National Guard to the uh, Afghanistan, uh, where we've been actually the united joint uh, team that was there deployed for a six months of period. Uh, and that was really great cooperation example for both of us, I believe. I also would like to uh, pass my greatest thanks and appreciation to the United States of America for your quick response to, to the events in Ukraine, for your commitments, uh, particularly to my country. Uh, and I believe strengthening the partnership in the future is the key. It should go on and we should work hard to improve this. Uh, this is a great tool for us. I hope for both of us, the United States of America and the Latvia, uh, how to uh, share our experiences, our knowledge, how to learn from each other. Uh, Afghanistan, as I mentioned, was one of, of the great examples. Uh, our soldiers been fighting shoulder to shoulder together. Uh, so the knowledge, the ideas, the experience, I think that's the greatest value that we both get out of this program and the partnership. The Latvian Armed Forces is a, is a young military. We start to build our military from the scratch as soon as we broke up with the Soviet Union back in 1991. So we had to learn a lot. And uh, because of this program, because of this assistance from the United States in particular, uh, it helped to build and still continues to help to build our, uh, our military, our armed forces. Uh, we are now the professional military. We are the, the whole volunteer force now. And there is a great area of experience that we can share and take from the United States. So this is, I think, uh, something that we benefit a lot of, learning from each other again, exchanging ideas. This is the, the value we have. In my career, I think one of the greatest benefits to me personally was that I truly had to learn a lot from my friends in the United States. Uh, although many of them were coming to my country, we have a close relationships, we've been working together, we learn from each other. And same when I go, I had the chance to go to the United States. Uh, study in some of your schools. Like last year, I recently uh, graduated U.S. Army War College. Uh, this again one part of the uh, our partnership programs that we have between Latvia and United States. Uh, so education, learning, friendship. This is what matters to me most. This is my experience. What I get the best. As I mentioned, building the professional military force. Uh, well, this is something really challenging. And the uh, non-commissioned non officer corps plays a, plays a really important role in that. Uh, first of all, it goes to the understanding among the military, among officers and NCOs, uh, what exactly is it, what is the role of the non-commissioned officer in this professional uh, military establishment? Uh, what is it that the officer can benefit from it? And what is it that the NCOs particular job is into the assisting the officer corps as such, I think. So the understanding of this is the focal point. And uh, in this respect, the experience that the United States has, the long years experience with your professional military, again, we couldn't take the best example and experiences from you as we, as we did throughout all this time. General Grass, at the conclusion of his today's presentation during the security seminar, he asked the audience what could be the message he can bring back to the Washington DC concerning their partnership program. Uh, and I told him that the message should be very simple. Just pass your sincere 
appreciation of this program that so many countries has benefited a lot from it. And uh, I will compare this program as a marriage. And the marriage is sort of culminating point in the relationship, but it's certainly not the end of it. You have to work hard on improving your relationship, on maintaining those relationships throughout all the marriage period. Uh, so the partnership program is kind of the same to me. Uh, we need to work hard to f further enhance and uh, these partnerships and all the programs that we have. And as we are now living in the times of decreasing defense spendings uh, across many countries, whatever happens, I believe that the partnership program should not suffer from those decrease of the defense sp 